so we were talking about the public access modifier so public access modifier has the widest range when we talk, talk about the accessibility it can be accessed in the cross packages and when you override the methods in inheritance you must have to make sure that you are not restricting if you restrict a method that cannot be overridden if you if you say that your data member or your method is private that cannot be overridden so in that case you, either you need to make it private or protected now so the bottom line is public access modifier is accessible it it gives accessibility to everyone and it is accessible everywhere when it is public okay then comes the private access modifier so private access modifier is accessible accessible only within the class so if i say class a and then i have private in x equals to 7 so this variable x can only be accessed by the class a this variable x can only be accessed by class a it cannot be accessed by any other class why because this is private okay sorry i have typed print to be private if it is if it is private it can be accessed only within that particular class and not outside of that class okay so public and private is it clear yeah but yeah now we will discuss about the default default access modifier default is not a keyword or anything but if you don't use any modifier so we say class a what does this mean it means it will be treated as default uh it will be treated as having the default accessibility okay so here the access modifier is default default modifier is accessible only within the package private modifier is accessible only within the class but default modifier is accessible only within the package so we just created packages if something is default you are not mentioning anything private public protected or anything that's going to be only used within that package not outside that package that cannot be used outside that package then comes protected protected access modifier so it will be accessible only within the package and outside the package but using the inheritance feature if any method is protected any data member is protected it is accessible within the package and outside the package but through inheritance you can inherit it outside the package that can be inherited 
the protected access modifier can be applied on any data member or any method or if you have any constructor you can apply on them but it cannot be applied on any class i cannot say protected class class a this is invalid declaration protected class a invalid declaration so class cannot be protected any data member any method right so protected void a so this is right this is all right so this is all about the access modifiers okay any question on this great let's discuss about one more feature okay just give me a moment let me pull the charger Okay, so now we are going to talk about encapsulation. We have talked about so far. We have talked about inheritance. We have talked about polymorphism. We have talked talked about abstraction which is also called data hiding now we are going to talk about encapsulation okay so encapsulation is basically is a process of wrapping the code and the data together whatever you have data like you have methods you have data members you wrap them in one unit in a single unit okay so it's a process to wrap up your data and code together in a single unit for an example why it is called encapsulation because it works on the phenomenon of capsule so mix up several medicines that's how the capsule works right so you can so basically when you use the encapsulation <coughs> everything is hidden it's inside a capsule it's inside a it's, it's inside an unit so what you can do is you can in when you are using this feature of java the encapsulation you can make the data members and methods private for in order to use any fully encapsulated class if you want to create a fully encapsulated class you can declare everything private okay in this case 
here with the encapsulation in Java, data and data methods are introduced. So what are the getter and setter methods? Okay, first of all, let's understand what is the advantage of encapsulation. By using the getter and setter methods, you can uh, create your code as read only and in the setter you can make it write only in the setter you can make it write only or you can do that vice versa so let's make it or you can make your code read only or write only if you are using the getter and setter method Let's discuss more about the getter and setter method so that you'll have more clarity. So first of all, I will create a program so that I'll give you some idea how to create the getter and setter methods. So for an example, uh, let's say there is a class, public class. Student and there is a string which is private, private string name for the student. Okay. So what you can do is we can say public string get name. I want some value for the name. I want some value for this name the variable name so I can use the method get name I will add the prefix get with the variable name this is how you create the getter method you just add the prefix get with the variable name okay and what will it do this method it will return the name and that is why the return type is a string that is why the return type is a string because it is returning the name to the method that is why it is get name get the name get the name for me this method will help you to get the name and that's why it's returning name which is a string so you have to keep the return type in sync with whatever you are returning now you will also need to assign it some value assign it assign it some name then only you will be able to return it so in the setter public void set name in the setter you will in the setter you will set a name for the variable so you will say this dot name equals to name. So remember this is how we use the constructors. This will help you to initialize your value for the variable, the data member. And here your class closes. So getter method, you add the get keyword with the variable name. Setter method, you, are, you prefix it with the set, S-E-T. In the, in the setter, you set some value to the data member. In the getter, you just return the value. Is it clear? Yeah. Now we are going to create some other class like let's say 
last test and then it has public static void main then create um, for the test student you will have to create you, you want to access that right so that's 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 public that's a public class right so you can access that here student object this to new student it's within the same package we are accessing it because the class we declared that was public obj dot set name set name was our method and we are setting a name that's it we are setting a name Create a class <coughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. So student student to be public in the packaging. That's in the packaging. Again, we are going to create another class here. Yes. Student with the main in the same package. this part so we are good no errors understandable such yeah Then, if you want, you can also display it. So go here. Go back here. 
the name of the student is Satyak. Okay, so we are setting the name to Satvik and that's why we are accessing the set name. This is how the encapsulation works. You use the setter and the getter method. The, this is about the setter and getter method. Okay, Satvik. Do you want to do some practice right now? Or um, let me give you some assignment. So create a class. Add numbers. Okay. Then define to int x int y. And you will say get x okay in get x you will return x so get x will be what get x will be public integer public int get x and return x Okay. Then there is then you will public int get x int x. Here we will say this dot x equals to x. So get x and set x. Same way you will do get y and set y. Okay. Once you have got the values, you will say void. You will use public void add. Then you will add. You will add these two, x and y. Sum equals to x plus y. Then in the main, create the object and access them. Can you try it? This is for tomorrow. I'll try. Okay, sure. So we are good for today. Good. Bye. Thank you.